Well, there's goes with my voice that literally just says hello. And yes, I could tell you what, we've been doing a bit of one minute train spotting here. And that just sounds really intriguingly amazing. And this layout here is probably the biggest. In fact, the Trackmaster one, all of that brown track is very big. With, you know, I would literally say I don't have that much Tommy track, the blue plastic Tommy track that I've got in the um, whole train system I've got. But I'm actually glad that I've got both Trackmaster and Tommy trains running at the same time. But they're actually Trackmaster trains, actually. Uh, but it looks better, of course. I've got Thomas and Luke running on two different separate layouts with the Christmas decorations there. And I've got a couple of baubles there. I don't know why I've just added them. Maybe it's just something to do a bit of show and tell. And hey, if I turn out a lot of the lights, those decorations look really spangly. They all look great. And to be honest, this is actually something really intriguing if you're going to display this in a very cool, awesome train show. Yep. The train was very visible. I'll probably say it was Thomas pulling all these three carriages and in Clover being covered up. Yes, and in and Clover's faces have been literally been covered. That's what I'm saying. Annie and Clyde Bus faces. And um, yes, they look pretty awesome indeed. I've got two Annie's and I've got one Clyde there. Yeah, I don't know why Thomas is pulling three Annie and Clyde Bells, But that's the why I'm naming, you know, I'm naming these coaches Annie and Clyde Bell because that's what they're supposed to be. But anyways, I don't know how good or bad I might do a toy view. Let's see what toys have we got. Well, it looks like both of these trains are running very neatly and nicely as what they should do. Having a precise speed, not too fast, not too slow. Very reliable and really useful at the same time. Oh yeah. I'll just let Thomas go by for that whole background here. Oh yes. Well, the products that we've got today is we're probably going to start with this here. This may or may not be the last Reflux trading card video I've made. It's the trading card game Celestia Storm Booster Random Bag 5 pack with damage counters. Cost me about £14 making this. And there's some tips on where you can win the, uh, the trading card game. And there's a very interesting ways that you can win. Take all the 6 plus cards that you all have. Your opponent has no animal cards. That's what I'm saying. Your, an your opponent has no animal cards. Actually it says there, doesn't it? There goes a bit of a, a close up info there. And your opponent can't start a card, and I'm pretty sure that's what it says. I'm pretty sure it says your opponent can't start a card draw during their turn. So it's a bit like decking out. And uh, what's that one there? Warning: Not suitable for children under three years of age due to small parts, choking hazard. Please retain this packaging for future reference. Very nice indeed, and it comes with five booster packs, which may contain. 35 to 95 cards. Yeah, training cards and cool EX cards. Eh? That looks really cool, doesn't it? Very nice artwork at the back. And seven damage counters. So let's go ahead and tackle what's inside. Well, it wouldn't be a YouTube video if I came in and, and basically do an unpacking like this. And oh, look at that. Five booster packs. And I'll probably do them uh, one by one. I'm not sure if I could do them all. Let me try the one with the booster packs. And uh, there's 10 of these damage counters there, hence number 10. These are supposed to be damage counters, which uh, look pretty nice. Oh no, one of them hasn't got any artwork here. Hang on, there's actually... Wait, this one here actually doesn't have number 10, which is an error I've spotted. There's actually, there's no number 10 here, so I might have to probably do that after making this video. Eh? Let's just push it aside. And we'll take a look at the cards that are basically inside here. Okay, we'll show you very, very quickly those cards. And um, let's see how they go. There's a Lynx kitten here. I'm not sure if there's two cards here. And, um, oh no. And there was a, uh, an adult Lynx, which unfortunately got its artwork being ripped off. And then we've got an adult blue whale, a great black black girl, leaf tailed gecko. And we've got these. Um, what they're called, I'm not sure what they are. Lophosaurus and Proarchaeopteryx. 
And we've got three of these great black bat girl cards, and oh my god. I don't know why some of the um, the artwork just gets removed all the time. Trying to punishment. Energy recycle system. Once again, we've got the same of these. Why are we getting the same Poke... Well, I'm not sure I'm saying these dinosaur names. It's called... Potarchyopteryx. I think that's what it's called. Now, Leaf Tailed Gecko. There's actually so many of these. And no EX cards. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Let's try and take a look at this one here. The one with the blowtorch tick. Very curious what is, that these cards are going to be alike. We've got a combustion fighter cock. Dilophosaurus. And a blue whale. And it's actually quite nice. We're getting loads and loads of cards. And, um, yes, is there another card here? Yes. Must skip Axolotl here. Adult Lynx. This one's a much better one here. But there's also another card here. And uh, there's another one of these Muscip Axolotl cards here. Kamui Tachi, Water Strider. There's a Kissing Garami Fish. And uh, an Adult Moon Wolf. I'm not sure if you pronounce the word uh, Wolf here. Probably it's because of my strange accent here. Kissing Garami Fish. And I've actually got two of these. Kissing Garami Fish and... Yes! Shamo Chicken EX! Glad to have that, I think. This is actually pretty nice, and it uh, actually came from that, um, that chair. It actually looks pretty nice. These cards, I don't know if I could repack them all, but they look pretty cool, don't they? And I'm not sure if I could do these all in one video, eh? Maybe do this card video, and um, do the other ones, of course. This looks pretty nice indeed to me. And uh, I'm not sure if these cards look pretty cool indeed. I'm not sure I've seen these before. But I think there's also other different styles uh, of cards. I might probably pack these later. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at this one here. And I'm not sure if I could do that in a separate video here. And oh my god, there's a few other cards here I've just missed. Okay, so we've got the uh, Kyorka. In fact, we've got these cards there Adult Main Wolf, Acro Bike, Kissing Garami Fish, Adult Main Wolf. We've got two of these, Can't be Touchy. And um, anything good that we're going to have, there's a main wolf cup here. Uh, Kyo... I'm sure I'm saying these words quickly. Kyoka, random black rat. Add a blue whale, main wolf cup. Rainbow energy, a beast ball, another Kyo... Oh, look at that! I think I just saw a Polynesian rat GX card. Actually, it's more like an EX card, sorry. That's what it says there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I have to probably say, I don't know how many cards I've just produced for Celestia Storm, eh? Thank goodness for me for just producing so many of these, eh? It would have just cost a lot much more money in a sense. And also, the way the packaging has been developed, I've actually taped on the, on the side here because that side was ripping and it was deteriorating so heavily there. And uh, I don't know what to do. Jump cut! And finally, I'm just going to probably pack these cards as what they are. And um, let's see what um, other... Booster packs I haven't tried out yet. Let me try the um the one with um what's it Trico? I'm pretty sure the the leaf tail gecko. And uh, I think I don't know how I arrange these cards. Let's try this one here. I'm not sure if I'm going to take my time because we're coming up towards midnight. And uh, there's a leaf tail gecko. What? Oh, there's these cards have gone all hard, man. Eh? There's one of these is a beast ball. In fact, I've got two beast balls. Main Wolf Cup, Energy Recycle System, and um, a Great Black Bat Girl, Matsuka Axolotl. And we're getting the same Polynesian Rat EX card. Sorry for jumping from the um, regular cards to the EX cards. There's a Kyorka, Great Black Bat Girl, Energy Recycle System, Main Wolf Cup, Rainbow Energy, Great Black Bat Girl, Energy Recycle System, Random Black Rat, and Great Black Bat Girl. Anyways, I could tell you what, making these cards just looks absolutely hilariously big. I don't know how big or small these um, card toys are going to be like. I could tell you what, they're going to be popular, eh? Let's try the one with Wingo on it. The Blue Talon Girl, which looks pretty nice, isn't it? So we've got Blue Talon Girl. Let's give back a lot of. We're getting a lot of cards, haven't we? Water Strider, Blue Wing Pelican, Blow Torch Chick, Combustion Fighter Cock, Adult Main Wolf, Gladontosaurus, that looks pretty freaking cool, eh? Main Wolf Cub, Kyoka, I'm pretty sure that's how I say it, Kyoka or Kyoga, if I was into poker. Oh no! Yes, I've seen this problem before. These cards just delaminate really easily. 
Then the realistic. Oh, look at that! Giant Arctic Bird EX card. Just got eye catch by that. And then we end up with those two cards. Anyways, that's it. And yes, I'd probably say I'll probably have enough of looking at these cards. And um, we might probably take a look at some of the next uh, products that we might see. And it's this product here. It's the Grela Goose Gaggle Flock 5 Pack 12 pounds 98. Now I wouldn't notice that this product here would have been very, very nice. I've actually done so many goose products like that before in the past year or so, but I've never covered something like that before. There's a barcode here, and there's the instructions on how to fuck these birds, eh? And look who's back! It's the freaking sad on the end there. How sadistic is that? But it's a British Wildlife Collection toy, and thank God I've changed the freaking flip up logo. And I've actually didn't know is that these toys are Generation 80 version 2 toys. And if I look over here, that's what it says there. Then we'll come in and do the unpacking like so. And um, this is what the geese look like. I mean, they're not white, but they are grey. They look pretty um, sort of grey, but I'm not sure how white they are. They've got, um, there's not much detail on the wings, so I wish they added a lot more detail there. Like, there's a bit of black. A bit of brown would have been nicer with that, but it's sort of a nice geese. Uh, sort sort of a nice goose, sorry, but maybe I should have never said that. Plural, I would say I'm, you know, basically trying to have a very very weird freaking plural sort of thing. I would literally say I'm a gaggle of goose. Or maybe I should have said a gaggle of geese. And uh, that's got a carrot <laughs> beak right there on the front. Yeah, it's looking closely there. It does have a carrot on the front, which is actually the beak. Uh, we does that, and they've actually made five of these, and all these birds have got names on their booties. That is freaking awesome. I mean, I just feel like that these birds have got pinkish sort of feet, but these, what you call geese, have got names on their booties, which look really, really awesome indeed. They flap really awesome, don't they? And, um, I mean, they don't look too bad by the looks of it, but that's the way they're basically designed. And um, certainly one of the best toys I've actually looked at. I'm not sure, I don't know why I'm getting so many flip up toy uh, videos on YouTube. I think the best thing, what I should have done, is basically not to make videos in the first place. And then, if you have a decision to make a video, then I would literally just say, yes. Okay, it's the right choice to make a video before you start to get millions of views and millions of subscribers on my channel. But there it is there. This is a, um, a British Wildlife Collection toy. This is a flip up origami flapping bird. I don't know what to say, but it's a flapping bird's toy. Fold for the future. 14 pounds. And it's a springtime grey like goose family 12 pack. Now, I wouldn't literally say that this is ludicrous, as I can tell. But looking at the back of the packaging there, once, we, once again, we've got this here, which is pretty weird, I suppose. And I don't actually think it's that bad after all. Hopefully, by looking at this, it just looks pretty awesome. Once again, it's got that saying there, British Wildlife Collection Toy Product Item. And I don't know how roughly made this product is, and uh, it looks sort of nice, isn't it? And it's made from recyclable paper, and that's also something that I think this... There it is there, it says made from recyclable paper. That, that product there is also similar indeed. And actually, I forgot to look at the back of the packaging there. <laughs> this goose there looks like it's freaking cooked. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the most freaking ludicrous of all pieces of artwork I've actually ever seen. Well, maybe that's just me doing this, of course. Anyways, let's just take a look at the artwork here. Looks pretty nice, isn't it? And, uh, sorry for the plain background noise here. But anyways, let's come in and unpack that. And I think it's basically, like, is it the same price? Let me check wisely, of course. No, it's basically different. And this one here, oh, it's basically the same price. That's a grey like geese figure five pack, actually twelve pack, sorry. And we'll try and probably um unpack these all like so. I think that's probably all the geese. Especially that flapping one here. And just like the other ones, this one's got a name on the booty. And it looks pretty awesome indeed. Not much detail of course, very identical. I mean it looks pretty ludicrous in a sense, I suppose. And speaking of ludicrous in a very preposterous sort of way. Look at this! Look at all the goslings, they're not even freaking detailed, eh? I thought they're gonna be basically realistically detailed, but look at this. They, you know what, they almost look like perching birds. 
and they almost look like freaking, you know, signets. They almost look like signets and goslings. I don't know what I'm saying, but they're supposed to be baby goslings or baby geese. That's what they're meant to be. They're supposed to be freaking, you know, goslings and not signets. You know, I've actually looked at the, um, you remember when I did the swan toy view? It was actually pretty amazing with the moor hen as well. And, um, there's basically, um, I don't know if there's basically, yeah, there's eight of these. Eight of these goslings. Which to me, they're in the right shape. And look at this one here. This isn't really detailed well. I've actually got a ton of errors here on, on my, um, video here. I'm going to have to probably, um, paint the, um, I'm going to have to probably colour in the, the beak and also the um, the feet and also the eye needs to be added as well. But no, nevertheless, in a sense, there's the female grey eyed goose. And uh, sorry for my rough and ready um, play, of course, and <laughs> looks like the, the female grey eyed goose has actually just gave in. Actually pecked on one of the, um, the chicks there. What a, oh god, that is so ruthless, man. That was a ruthless way to do that. What a ruthless mummy. Anyways, put these little goslings there. And what they should have is a nest here. And I think that's what they all go for. That's the nest, and that's where they all live in. And I'm not sure if this is pretty scenic uh, to say so, I suppose. A faceless goose, or faceless gosling, I call it. And I put all the other goslings there, no matter which position they are. And, um,. They actually do look sort of pretty amazing, don't they? These little geese. And I mean, they just don't look too bad, eh? The little goslings. And here is the male goose, as I can call it. Or gander, as what some people call them. And uh, there's no name on the um, the figures, as I call them. Uh, but they look sort of nice, don't they? And uh, that's what I like to hear about these sort of geese. And uh, they certainly look nice indeed, don't they? Well, I thought I was going to ludicrously end the video like that, but let me give a bit of an edit. Let me try doing this, of course. And I think it looks a lot much more better when the gosling is literally painted. And I'm after probably jump cut this because I'm actually going to sneeze. And yes, we are nearly coming up towards spring, which is very nice to see these little goslings just pop up like that, I suppose, in stores, like in where I am. I'm um, just drawing the eye. I'm going to have to do a jump cut again because I'm going to sneeze. And yes, sorry for the um, the jump cuts there. The reason why I was jump cutting so much was because uh, I'm literally living in the UK and I'm absolutely sneezing incessantly. Twice, actually. Maybe, you know, there could be a third time I'm just sneezing there. But anyways, that's, that's basically my edited gosling there. It's not too bad. Not too bad, I would say, twice. It's not too bad, it's not too perfect, it just looks fine, doesn't it? Very beautiful birds indeed. Well, maybe the most humane way is basically pack all these geese there and let them suffocate for years or maybe decades or possibly centuries, millenniums or possibly, I don't know what to say, maybe an, an enigma, if that's basically um, a real thing. Oh, look what it says there, it's actually FSC. If I go a bit closely there, that envelope is made from responsible sources, that paper here, FSC, didn't realise that. Anyways, I'm just going to pack all the freaking geese right inside there and just probably learn a lesson on what in the world am I just going to be talking about, but hey, that's probably about it, nothing much to say about geese, and hey, what do you think about this toy view, hey? Anyways, that's probably about it. Well, let's just finish off with basically a minute or so watching these trains. And thankfully enough, both Thomas and Luke actually survived and haven't derailed for quite a bit of time. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Actually, I said please leave a like and not live a like. And subscribe to my YouTubers right onto my channel there. And I can tell you what, this is really, really awesome there. And I can tell you what, this is actually really awesome watching this train set and doing a bit of flip-flap stuff there. And once again, I'm going to say this one incessantly, of course. Subscribe to my channel as a new YouTuber of my channel. And as always, I hope you dare so. Believe me, this is really the best way to make friends with people these days. Sadly, the YouTube of today is nothing like what we had 12 years ago. As always... 
Thanks for watching and bye for now.